Mary Louise Cold hija artista daniża li taħdem bil-metall. L-esibizzjoni ex libris iddur madwar il-metall, il-metallurġija, il-kimika u l-alkemija u tiħu l-ispirazzjoni taħħa mil-kodba antikissimi tal-bibbioteka nazjonali fil-bed. Din l-esibizzjoni kurata min George Mallija miftuħa sat-tnej ta' ġunju fil-bibbioteka nazjonali il-bed. I never planned to fall in love with metal, but I was at art school in Sweden 20 years ago, working with all kinds of different materials, and copper printing was a fantastic process, but of course it resulted in a, in a print on paper. And I realized that the metal itself changed and became just magical. But, but those changes in the metal couldn't actually be transferred onto paper. So I stopped printing and realized, right, metal, that's what it is, that's what I have to work with. And it's heavy, and I cut myself, it's expensive, and it's dirty, and it's dangerous, and I was just in love with it. So all of those problems just went out the window. I had to work with it, and I haven't been able to stop for over 20 years. I have a strong connection to Malta because I am in love with and married to a Maltese man, but I'm also in love with the country and with its culture and its history. And the Biblioteca has had a place in my heart since I visited it the first time. It's, there's something here that I just can't let go of. Um, I exhibited in Malta the first time four years ago at St. James Cavalier. And that was an unforgettable ex experience. The, the space, the light, the, the whole working environment. So I knew that my next exhibition here would also have to be somewhere really special. And it's such a privilege to be allowed to actually come here with my works, with my books, with my copper scrolls. This exhibition took shape right here in this room several years ago. Uh, I was attending an event here and I was looking around and it suddenly struck me, I have to make books. And the title Ex Libris was, was right there, instantly. But I don't want to replicate books. I don't want to make regular books, but out of metal. I, I want to convey the feeling of the book, which can be so many different things. So it's, it's a question of, of the texture, of the content, of the... Um, of both the content in an intellectual way, but also very much of the emotional aspect of it. And I've had such tremendous help here from everybody at the Biblioteca, not least in finding old books, uh, 15th century onwards, that deal with alchemy and chemistry and metals and engraving. And some of those books will be part of the exhibition. So it's almost like going full circle. I certainly didn't make an easy choice when I went for metal. You know, I'm Scandinavian, I want to plan things, and I always have a plan, and I never get there. The, the metals bring so much to the table, there's so much in them, that I constantly have to be alert throughout the process to see where is this going, and a lot of the time it fails. This half copper column has a really special history. It used to be part of the old post office in Malmö, Sweden, where I live. And they had to change the copper, all of it, in this big copper tower, basically, on the roof. Uh, and it's a listed building, and of course they didn't really want to change it, but they had to, it was leaking. And sensible, wonderful people said the value of the scrap metal is, is quite high, but the historic value is much higher. So we need to do something with it. And they contacted me and they said, what, how can we use this? What can we do with it? And I was given the opportunity of transforming this incredible copper because time and nature can do things to this metal that I can't. So this patina is from, has been developing since 1906. Um, I have been very carefully cleaning the surface, there was a bit of silicone, I've been taking care of it, and the inside I have clad with text. 
this exhibition is unlike any other in, in many ways. I have been working here at the Biblioteca for a year and a half. Uh, whenever I've been in Malta, I've visited. I've, I've looked through old books. I've been immersed in them, in, in Latin, in French, in all kinds of languages, and, and both looked at the content, but also at the, the beautiful fonts and, and at the, the yellowing of the pages and the state of the books. And it's all inspired the process so much. And I have worked with text, sometimes sheets of paper, sometimes put together as books, sometimes closed books where there's not perhaps even a single word, but there's still a feeling of content and of, of, of text. Um, I etch a lot of words and sometimes the etching is so deep uh, that you can't actually read anything. These works were made during a long process and that process will continue, but slowly, but they are in constant change.